That was in Nebraska. For a wedding. That I was in. Told all the other bridesmaids, you know, like, be on the lookout because, you know, I could get my period at any minute. I was feeling the symptoms, like I should be getting it, but I wasn't getting it. So I Googled it and found out that the symptoms for being pregnant are the exact same symptoms as getting your period. That was when I called you. Right, and okay. I remember we were having like a normal conversation and whenever there was like a, a break, I remember saying, um, so like, I need to talk to you about something. Um, something's a little bit different this month. It was kind of like out of the blue and I was like, what? Yeah, I huh? do. Yeah. I kind of sprung it on you. And I was just like, oh my gosh, she's totally pregnant. I know it inside. <laughs> it's totally happening. First, you threatened to kill me. I think I said, if I'm pregnant, I will fucking kill you. Oh, yeah, you. maybe that's what it was, yeah. So the rest of the weekend, I was just, like, in a daze. And I flew in on, like, a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And I think we decided, if I don't get out of my period tomorrow, we are going to go get a pregnancy test. Which was surreal, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't. The next day, we had... You know, I had also planned to do like a going away dinner for you mm. because you were going to Portland for the summer to intern. Before the dinner, we go to Walgreens to get the pregnancy test. And I remember walking down the aisle and how surreal it was like standing in front of this like wall of pregnancy tests and trying to figure out which one's reliable, which one to get. We wanted yeah, the most just, bang for our buck. Yeah, so we ended up getting two tests, a package of two. Yeah. Just to make sure. But we didn't, we went straight to dinner after yeah, that. Yeah, we didn't have time to take the test. And then we go to this dinner, and I remember sitting there and just looking around the table and seeing all of the awesome people that were in our lives that were, you know, there to send me off, and we were just so supportive and caring people and kind of ending on you and just thinking like you know I'm okay with this like it's gonna be nuts but it's okay like all the elements are here for me to do this and feel all right about it so after the dinner we go back to your place I went and laid in bed and you went and took the test I was just like laying in the dark staring at the ceiling I mean, I was totally still, but inside I was, like, wigging out. And I don't remember exactly what was going through my head when I was taking the test, but I know I was just like, don't be pregnant, don't be pregnant, don't be pregnant. Or, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the plus sign. And you just burst in and the shaft of light coming from the outside, and I'm like, ah, and I see your silhouette, and you were like, I knew it. I'm fucking pregnant. <laughs> You were just like pointing at me like, I knew it. I knew what you had done to me, whatever <laughs> type of thing. <laughs> and I was just like, I didn't even know what to say. I'm just like, oh man. And I don't think we really said much to each other. No, I don't think so. There's a lot of thoughts going through my head, but at the same time, it was just like quiet kind of hum. And I just remember looking at your face and you looking right back at me and just not saying anything. No, for a long time. You know how when you stare at something, and it almost like distorts after a while. Like everything around around like your face would just like melt away. I felt like I was connecting to you on a level that most normal people don't connect on. I mean, I guess I kind of had a similar experience. I remember f feeling like we were in that same place while everything else was just kind of like, like obsolete, you know? We decided at some point we need to call a pregnancy clinic and we're like, hey, there was one yeah. right around the corner from where we live. We yeah. walked by it all the time. It had mm -hmm. this huge sign that said free pregnancy test. Right. I called them. And I didn't think anyone was going to pick up. It's like midnight or one in the morning or something. And some girl picks up. And I mean, she sounded like she was 20, 21 years old, you know, like mm -hmm. young and and I was like, um, so I think my girlfriend and I might be having a baby. We just got a pregnancy test, but we wanted to get like the real deal and 
whatever and she's like okay okay who's pregnant and I was like my girlfriend okay does she want to keep it and I'm like I just want to know if we're having one first off I don't know what to do with it yet (laughs) but you know I mean I was kind of like put off by it a little bit but she was asking me a few questions like you know when can you be in and blah blah and I was like as early as possible because we were supposed to drive out to Oregon that next morning and in the morning, we get up real early and get ready to go to the clinic. And You took the test again, didn't you? Oh, took that's the other right. Test. I took the second test. Well, it's weird because when I woke up, I was kind of like, was that all a crazy dream, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, no, no, this is totally real. I can't believe it. Yeah. You yeah. lived on the second floor, and we had to kind of go around a corner to go down these stairs. And I remember standing at the top of the stairs and looking at you and being like, Hey, could you do me a favor? Could you just push me down these stairs right now so we don't have to do I think this. I remember saying that that was tempting, but I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just and we walked, walked to the over clinic. to the place, and that was it. And that is where we're going to end this story. Yes, that and is. And begin again. Buckle your seatbelts for that one. <laughs> <laughs>